Bien, bien. Ya, espero no se me quedan. Pero, si puedo. Hola, Mike, ¿qué se me envía? ¿Cómo estás? Bien, bien. I'm ready for my close-up. Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Sarah G. Holmes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Go. What's up, man? Pretty rock and roll. Uh, my brother, Sylvain. How are you doing? Sylvain, nice Ryan, a little late. It's okay. So I have a, little... a feeling those guys will be a little bit slower. Yeah. Okay. Well, I bought this trailer yesterday. Okay. So it's a little bit of a learning curve. So if you guys tuned into the rally episode, I had borrowed this trailer and now I've since bought it. So rally pull that so it's not open. Well, when they watch this, it's going to be out. Don't you know how this works? <laughs> These guys are new. These guys are new to YouTube. They don't understand. They don't understand. <laughs> so as I mentioned in that episode, it's a very, very tight fit. It is so tight, in fact, that um, I cracked this. I cracked the head. So, I mean, it's within inches. You park the sled in, and then you could see how tight it was at the back. The windshield's gotta come off. And then when I closed it, it was just like, just to say too far forward. And then um, I think it's this guy, this right here, just leaned right on it and cracked it. That's why I'm late. The mock is like an inch and a half lower, so it's got like a little bit of room. But yeah, don't worry. Um, have you entered to win the links yet? Well, if you haven't, go go and do that. Buy a shirt, and you'll be entered. But don't worry, it's gonna have a new headlight <laughs> if you win. But yeah, so that's why I'm late. But anyway, oh, so you broke that this morning. Yeah. Uh, shit. Yeah, shit is right. That's not exactly the word that I used. Yeah, um, or the many. <laughs> <laughs> there was only one. I mean, it's still a great day, right? So it is a great day. What is it? Like minus 20 right now, but it's going to warm up. It's going to warm up all the way to four, I think. That's yeah. Four. Day, like freeze at That'll night. Be nice and sharp. And then... tight, so, trails will be tight. Yeah. yeah. High of four this, today. This is exactly what I love about this sport. Meeting up with Ryan, this is actually the first time we're going to ride together. Ryan's been one of my longtime clients for my video production business. He owns the best landscape company in town futurescape landscape by the way so i've been making videos for ryan for a long time but this is the first time we ride together we wanted to make this happen i called him up he's like i'm going out with some buddies so i get to meet a bunch of new guys how many guys are coming i think there's about six or so over so there another six and we're, we got another one tagging along as we drive by his house okay so Cool. Who knows? Could be twenty. We don't know. Yeah, yeah. So there'll be there'll be like at least ten or so of us, right? Yeah. So we get to meet awesome. some new people. You guys have met Sylvain before, um, and we're gonna do some riding. I don't even really know where we're going, which is another cool part, right? He told me kind of the general direction. I think he wants to go Panage Killarney, Little Current, uh, back through the Lacloche Mountains, and then to Espanola, and then back to Panage, or we can go around Nairn Center and come back through. So Amazing. We have an option. We don't have yeah. to go all lake running. We can do the long way around, which is just as fun. Even more fun. If you ask cool. So Killarney again. I mean, in that last episode, you've seen me go to Killarney. That's where we went on the rally. But this is going to be some different trails. I'm going to do some lake running. Uh, this is my first day with the new Hurricane Tune. So you guys have seen my first reaction on that. But I didn't really get to ride it on the trail all that much. But I am really excited for that. Sylvain left the 1200 at home mm -hmm. today. Um, Too slow. Yeah. <laughs> so Sylvain's starting to think about the next sled. That's why I want him to ride both. I want him to ride the mock with the smart shocks because he's on the fence with that. And then he's going to ride the 850 as well. I want Ryan's thoughts on uh, these two sleds. So he's going to hop on at some point. It's going to be an amazing day. I'm pumped. Let's go. So Ryan, tell us a little bit about the new sled. XRS 850 smart shocks. Uh, smart shocks, kind of. Kind of, sort of, yeah, we're waiting for that uh, module still. Oh, yeah? So hoping that it comes in, but uh, I'll tell you, if it's better than it is, I'm just going to be blown away because I can't, I've never had to touch anything on this. And my old sled was an XRS. I spent a lot of time playing with it to get it to the way it is. This thing I haven't had to touch, and it's perfect. So we'll see what happens when it breaks in, but, uh, and when I get the module, maybe I'll ask them to take it back out. I don't know. I, don't, I can't see it getting any better. So obviously it's awesome, but what I will say is on those long rides, 
And if you hit a bumpy trail, to be able mode? to set it to comfort, man, that's nice. Yeah, I can't wait because I never had that with that. Yeah. I had that like CR250 dirt bike seat on that thing. Yeah. This is already 10 times more This is fully loaded. You've got the good gauge package Yeah, yeah too. I got the big gauge yeah. package. I got... Uh, so really similar to the Mach. Like, really similar. I mean, just XRS sits a little bit taller. Yeah. You'd probably destroy the light on this one too. <laughs> uh, but yeah. yeah, obviously stiffer seat. I'll say that that's one thing that I don't necessarily love about the Mach is the seat's a little soft. A little cush, yeah. Yep, yep, yeah. too much. Long rides. At exactly. the end when it's rough, it's like, they just sit back and enjoy. Yeah. Whereas this, you still got to stay pretty engaged. And then MXZ, a little shorter skid. Yeah, yeah, this is um, the 129. 129, yeah. yeah. Doesn't get any more Canadian than this. <laughs> residential neighborhood here and we might be on the trail here let's go we've also picked up another guy who went by a house and he came, came on that's another one of Ryan's buddies but uh, here we go yes sir oh game on game on oh little rough <laughs> I'm not sure if this is the groom trail or if it's just a trail. Yeah, it looks like it's just a trail. So I guess we're on our way to Panage Lake. And that's where we're going to meet the rest of the gang, patiently waiting for me, the new guy. Not going to be the best first impression for these guys. <laughs> Plus, I'm going to have a camera in their face. Hopefully, they don't hate me too much. I love seeing Sly on the links. Wow, it makes me happy. I don't know why. <laughs> See if I can pull up next to him here. Catch him up, catch him up, catch him up, catch him up. Let's go, Lacey. Let's go, Lacey. Yes sir! Yes sir! Oh, <laughs> oh that was fun. <laughs> Just looking at the dream meter down here, looking like 196 is what I hit when I was uh, flying by Sly on the links there. Top speed for the day so far. High score! 196? <laughs> Sly's just flying by me with the skis up. I love it. <laughs> I try comfort mode. It's a little rough here. Switch to comfort. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. So there's another great example of smart shocks that you wouldn't really anticipate. So I'm doing a buck 70 on a lake, just flying. Things are good, things are great. The suspension's handling it, but it's a little rough. And, and it doesn't give me like 100% confidence in the slope. So I'm like, hey, let's try comfort mode. Flip the switch into comfort mode, and all of a sudden, the, the bumps go down to like 50% of what they were before. I have way more confidence that I could just keep it wide open. It's a beautiful thing. This is what skidooing used to be like. 
gross. This is what our dads grew up riding before the OFSC. Think about that the next time you squawk about spending 200 bucks on your trail pass. Yeah, I mean, 200 bucks to ride some of the best groomed trails in the world right here in Ontario. It's been a while since I've been snowboarding, but I think it's like 100 to 120 bucks a day for a lift ticket. So one weekend of snowboarding, the equivalent of using thousands of kilometers of the world's best groom trails. Think about that. Put it in perspective. Don't fucking bitch <laughs> about the price of a trail pass. Yeah, like this is gross. I can't imagine riding. By the way, this is not an OFSC trail that I'm on right now. This is what riding would be like. You know, have all the speed in the world, but if this is the only thing we'd have to ride on, it still so goes. VIP Go app disconnected again, so I don't know what lake we're about to go on, but it looks like this might finally be Panage. Just judging by the size. Oh, a skate path. Nice. Very nice. Have I mentioned that I love living in Northern Ontario? Man, this is awesome. Here we go. Uh, are you kidding me? Log cabins. One, two, three, four, five sleds waiting for us right by the skate path. That's a beautiful thing. Alright, so this battery's got like 9% left. It's going to die soon and uh, I'm going to lose you guys. And there's not really any time to change the battery because these guys are ready to rip. I'm not going to make these guys wait any longer. So I'm going to lose you guys and then at some point I'm going to switch the battery and then we'll, uh, we'll get back to it. But we're heading to Killarney. Let's f***ing go! I love this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight sleds deep! <laughs> oh, that was a great wheelie by Fly. Oh, that makes me so happy to see him do that. I don't know why. Bit of the nerve. Alright. Bit of the nerve! Have I mentioned how amazing that day this is? Oh. The sun is out, Friday morning, rolling out with some boys. Alright, we're on a little, another little beater trail here. Beater or beaver? Let's call it beaver trails from now on. I'm officially christening these beaver trails. <laughs> And back on to tonight! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Oh shit! Hit something there! Hey, Hey, Vince. Anyway, I mean, Vince. Good, Dave. Andy. Andy. Yeah, Andy. Yeah, Andre. Vince. Vince, Andre. Yeah, nice to meet you. Vince. Thanks, bud. Yeah, nice to meet you. We're on him pretty good. Man. On him. Might as well put an elastic band around the throttle. <laughs> Just left it there all day. <laughs> I'm trying to adjust my mirrors. I think I got slide to the right of me. Yes, sir. That beautiful Lynx. Hey, have you guys seen the light on there? It's amazing. You could win it. Broken headlight and all. Just kidding. Just rolling. We got a nice fisherman here. 
How do you do? Just another day on a Northern Ontario trail. Look how good it looks in the sun. Oh, quite the formation behind you there. <laughs> so this is Lake Huron. We've made it to the big water. Nice pack of deer right here. That's just what you get to see when you come here. It's amazing. So we've done like 85 kilometers so far. And I got to say that the mock is drinking fuel a little bit more than usual. Tank is at half. That's definitely new. But whatever. That's the price you pay, I guess. Now well, we're going to run around the corner. We're going to end up going into Little Current. And then uh, if you guys need fuel or whatever, get fuel a little current. And then it's 25 miles across to Killarney. Cool. And there's a couple big, like, six-foot pressure ridges we've got to cross. That was beauty. A lot of lake running and uh, just like that in no time we are back at Sportsman Inn, Lodge, whatever it is, Marina, Island Spa, all of that stuff. Anyway, we're back. I guess we're gonna get a bite to eat. I love this place. So happy to be back within a week. Look at that. Heather? I'm ready for my close-up. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I love it. And we're we we're all racing like we were today. And we had just I just let off and I was in the snow dust a little bit and it was one of those and it just launched me and I landed on the uh, landed right on the sled but off to the side a little bit and I just went over the sled. Sled. Oh, the sled. And, and I just slid, I just slid. 80 miles an hour, like you just... Fuck. Cool ice hats and shit with it, yeah? It creeps up on you so fast that you like... Well, you can't see it. The snow dust. It's not a sled, eh? Lucky we were slowed right down. And that's all it was. It was a oh, tiny one. the engine's fucked good, eh? Those ice ridges are... No, you could hit some big ones. Like that one there that was in the middle of the trail. It was that hot. I'd say body fit, but I think we're, we're gonna go on the 
Giddy up. Or oh, nice of Ryan to wait for me. I don't really know where I'm going, so. Heading towards Killarney Mountain Lodge, which is where we had the dinner for the rally. Oh, watch out, watch out, doggy. Hello, doggy. Thank you. There's Sly, looking good on the links. There's the gang. I'm going to move ahead here a little bit. That's the sweet spot right there. So far, that's where I've noticed the biggest difference. It's kind of that, that mid-range power. I'm sure the bottom end torque's there too, but the track just spins and struggles for traction. But this mid-range, you know, when you're going 60, 70, and then you floor it, yes, like just like that, baby. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's fun. Yeah, buddy. So basically, I'm going to be riding the mock until uh, the next time we stop. At which point, I'm going to let Sly ride it. And uh, I think the timing couldn't be better because he tells me that he may have uh, hurt his back a little bit on uh, going a little too aggressive on one of the bumps with the links, which can definitely happen. I think I <laughs> I saw stars a little. I don't know what he did, but it's funny. It's <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I was going to goose it off that hill, and I yeah, just went I'm over like, and I went, oh, that's a big dip at the this bottom. This would be fun. The sled can take it. Let's go. It well, didn't take it? The sled took it. I yeah, didn't. you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so he's going to appreciate this comfort mode. And so, yeah, next stop, we're going to swap out. No hand signals, okay, no problem. I'm assuming that was just a group of two. Oh, we're stopping here. What's going on here, boys? I'm not sure. Perfectly round ice balls or ice. Oh shit, that is wild. They look like ice lily pads. Yeah, it's kind of neat, eh? Nice day, eh? Yeah. You're gonna love the soft suspension on the moth, especially <laughs> if you're about to. My back is killing me. Four stroke yeah. is for you? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Yeah, it's just smoother, like, you know, the throttle, it's fun and all, but after a while, it's yeah. getting too old. That's a young man's game. 
<laughs> Two strokes are for the young boy. Yeah. When you take good suspension, I want soft. Yeah. Soft on the bones. Stiff is cool, you know, if you're going to be aggressive. Like, most of the time, I'm not going to be more aggressive than this anyway. Yeah. So. Let's go. No, understand. Third time's a charm. Took three times to start this time. I mean, I just, I just met a bunch of guys I've never talked to before, and then you stop on the trail and you start, you start chatting like that during lunch, and you find common ties, and you know, two of these guys work at a car dealership here, at a Dodge car dealership and although I've never met them there I've actually done work some video work for that dealership before so there was some common thread so we talked a little bit about that all right let's go a little bit more serious now trails are still Pretty decent. I mean, a little rough, but... So what river is this? See how uh, you're the tour I'm guide. not sure. The what? The Mazanazing River. Mazanazing. Yeah. It's so amazing. What a day, what a ride. I mean, this day just keeps getting better and better. It's getting milder. The high today was supposed to be minus four. I think we're pretty close to there. It's pretty awesome. Great ride so far. Great bunch of guys. This is going to be our last stop. The next stop is going to be Panage where the majority of the guys are going to drop off and then me, Ryan, one other guy and Savannah are going to keep going. Um, probably another 30 kilometers. But this is the so. spot where we're going to switch it up. Sly is going to hop on the mock. He's going to get a feel for that. So I'm getting on the links for the remainder of the ride. So Sly, hey, you hopping on the mock? If you want. It's your turn. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Okay, we're gonna switch it up. Comfort mode it is. Put on Cadillac. Cadillac mode for the sore back. Was this Panache? Yeah. Panache or Panache? Depends who you Either way, yeah. <laughs> Panache or It's spelled Panache. Well, actually, I've seen it spelled both it, ways. Yeah, you're right. It's actually spelled With Panache. an E or without? Panache? With, with a G, a G yeah. Panache is not politically correct. Panache is the Finland it's the address of a native uh, Probably. That would that's make sense because the reserve is all down this in side. In French, of the that's what it means. It's the headdress. Yeah. Panache. Panache. Yeah, yeah I guess so. I think. Which one? That one? Yeah. Absolutely. Give her, man. Who is that guy? <laughs> What'd you think of the mock? It's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't think it would make that big of a difference. Like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. You're talking about the shock? Yeah. It's Did you switch them back and forth? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, especially, like, right here. You know, and it was like that. Like you take them off and it's like a regular sled. You're like, okay, that's all right. It's cool. You put it on. It's like, it's unbelievable. I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, cause I, I was like, eh, you know, 2000 bucks or whatever is it worth? It's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah. Not yeah. turbo. That's interesting too, eh? It's what got that delayed kind of, yeah. when it kicks in there. 
And the noises when you let up. <laughs> Flutter. Yeah. No, he bought it. Yeehaw! I like it. <laughs> oh, wow. It's fun, eh? It is fun. It's playful. Very playful. It likes the back wheel. Yeah. Standing up on it is awesome. Oh, yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. No worries. <laughs> You're all geared up. Do you want to try launch mode? Ryan's about to try it. You go first. Thing pulls the whole way. Yeah. For like yeah. miles. Hooked up with that launch. Launch. It's not bad. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Very different sleds, eh? Oh yeah. yeah that's like a, that's a play toy. That's a lake runner. Yeah. Yeah. made it without seizing his engine we survived the low almost ran out of oil but yeah <laughs> we got her <laughs> yeah obviously you don't have any curious to uh to know what your thoughts are on the, well, the uh, difference between the two sleds they're two totally different sleds the mock just pulls and pulls for days it's hard to tell because it's you you have it in kilometers i have mine in miles right. an hour so it's really hard to see what that mid-range feels like and it's so quiet yeah you know once you get a little extra brip you'll uh It'll feel faster for sure. Yeah. But it pulls good. Yeah. 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 I think it pulled harder than uh, than the Thunder yeah. had it on uh, top end. I'd say just by a bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, but pulled side by side. And the uh, the links it uh, sure wheelies like crazy. Yeah. It's awesome. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. It's a it's fun. It's playful, thing. right? It, it's yeah. It reminds me of this one that we wheelied like crazy too. Yeah. But yeah, no, that's a that's a fun sled for sure. Two totally different sitting styles and everything else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, completely different. Don't let him out, eh? Ah, no, no, will he pull? Go to the roof. Really? Nice, nice. He's a puppy. Yeah. Inside. Inside, boy. How old is he? Just over a year. Okay. Oh, beautiful dog. Yeah. I, I, I know. I he know. is gorgeous. I still can't get over that Mog Z suspension. The smart shock. That's. That's unbelievable. Yeah. That's it for me. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one but for me. I can me, tell then. the smart shock's working. You could feel them. Yeah, did you toggle back and forth? Yeah, I did. I yeah. did. On the lake, uh, I went from one to the other and just, you can definitely feel how much more it transfers in comfort mode. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, the big bumps, you're, you're better off on, uh, on comfort for sure. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Well, amazing day. day. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, always a pleasure. Thanks for coming. Yeah, no, it was nice meeting we'll some, do it again. some new people. And yeah. yeah. If there was ever a day you could dial in for perfect snowmobile weather, yeah. I think we nailed it. Yeah. Because it's not too warm no. at no. any point, and definitely not too cold. Yeah. Oh, there's the boss. Yeah. It's like a glove, but... What an amazing day. Uh, I feel like I say this a lot, but that's that's just the thing with sledding. I mean, 
they're all amazing days for their own reasons. I've been to Manitoulin quite a few times over the last few years, but never on a sled. Heather's actually definitely jealous that we went there um, without her today. I'm sorry, Heather. Killarney, always love going to Killarney. Sportsman, always a great spot, great lunch there. Got to make some new friends. I mean, that's another thing about sledding. You find guys that just love this sport and are just willing to share um, to share the sport with others. I got to share the sleds with some guys. They got to try some launch control. That makes me happy to see other people on these sleds enjoying Thanks it. again for tuning in. Speaking of that sled and sharing, I want to share that links with one of you guys. So enter to win. Just buy one of these shirts. This hoodie right here, 60 chances to win that Lynx. It could be yours. I could share it with one of you guys. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed the day. And we'll see you in the next one.